Oh well. Oh well. If you have to create a, a blooper reel of the most disastrous uh, uh, photo shoots, this comes top. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. And I came to photograph some old derelict heritage buildings. And uh, oh, I've just spent two hours running around the field, dodging sheep and kangaroos to find it. And uh, no, didn't. So, and now I've got nothing to photograph I'm in a paddock. And the sky went off, Miss Twilight, uh, Miss Astronomical Twilight, which was oh, yeah, breathtaking. It's now in nautical and it's gorgeous. And I haven't got a single thing to put in the foreground. Nothing. Even the sheep have gone. <laughs> oh, well, pros and cons of photographing. OK, cool. I'll sign off. Okay, worst shoot of my life. <laughs> worst shoot of my life. I've been running like bloody crazy in the dark trying to find this. Couldn't find it. Leaving, gave up, found it. So I am now massively behind. I'm just trying to take pictures. Oh, wow. Ah. Uh, uh. You're a fully charged battery and you keep going off on me. I have had it with tech. Uh, I'm still enjoying being out here, but I've had it with tech. Um, technology's just killed me completely. Um, so um, I'll explain in a minute, but let's just try and capture uh, an image or two here. I may have to very quickly throw on a grad. Um, because let me just come under here just to capture that sky there we go and let me just go over a bit just to get some detail colors going so oh, very greatest of apologies here I'm gonna rush over here where am I going no I'm not I'm gonna rush over this way see if we can get another angle on this beautiful old derelict house uh, with that mountain in the background so we'll see if we can come around this side I've got to be careful there's old bits of metal and I'm just walking into it now. Bits of wire everywhere. Okay. Right. Oh, here we go. That's a beautiful old house. Okay. Oh, wow. That's an absolutely beautiful house. There we go. It's, uh, it's 
to raise this up a touch. I may actually get a touch lower very quickly because that colour is going to go very quickly. It's probably one of the largest. Um, oh, ah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. And uh, yep, let's immediately start. Focus. Focus in on this beautiful, beautiful building. Just to make sure I get it, I'm going to focus near to us as well. Oh, gorgeous. Let me get on my bag. Ah. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, let's see. And this is, <coughs> pardon me, this has turned out to be a rock around one old tree, uh, one old rock around one old uh, building because uh, I've got no choice. Ah, but to try and capture this, I'm looking at the best way of capturing that light while well, we've got it. That looks quite pretty. Ah, I wish I'd found this an hour ago, but you know what? Ah, so I'm more than happy. I'm more than happy to find this. It's a beautiful old building. The, the windows are spectacular. Uh, right. Focus stacking as we go. Uh, just take that again because I did knock it. F16. I'm at uh, two and a half seconds. There's nothing moving here. Uh, there we go. Absolutely glorious. I just wish we'd found it earlier. <sighs> Done. I think the light is just starting to fade. Apologies for this super rushed and crazy um, uh, video, <laughs> real apologies. Um, I literally was despondent. So I'd marked uh, this, uh, let's see if we can get one more. There's a little bit of pink in the sky behind and uh, Let's see which way. This is nice. Those hills are nice behind. Um, 
so I'd No, the house doesn't look very good from that angle. Uh, it looks better from this angle. We'll catch the last of that light while I talk you through the woes of, of being a photographer. Um, okay, nice triangle. Uh, yes, I came yesterday, we were driving past, there's a, there's a main, main road it's about a couple of kilometres behind you. And I spied um, this little derelict. There are a couple on the main road itself, but there's too much light pollution, uh, too many cars going past, and they've actually got spotlights on them. So uh, I gave them a miss. I spied this one a couple of kilometres along this road and thought, perfect, absolutely wonderful. That's what we're going to shoot in the morning and hope we might get some colour, which we did. And so I was so pleased. The colour was just starting to kick off as I came along the road. And so I couldn't find the house. Couldn't find it. So in a panic, I grabbed my bag, grabbed everything, shot out the car and started running around these old paddocks full of kangaroos and sheep. And did I find anything? No, nah, I found nothing, nothing at all. Um, I wonder if we can do the classic window shot. We may as well give it a go before the sun comes up. Um, nothing at all. I didn't find a thing. Oh, okay, that just took itself. Anyway, um, and so uh, sad faced, I was heading home. And uh, as I did, I spotted it. <laughs> I spotted the uh, house, the hut. Now, oh. right, let's get up here. Okay, that looks quite nice. to centre ourselves perfectly well. That looks quite nice. There we go. And uh, let's raise ourselves up. There we go. Zoom in a touch. Okay. Uh, two shots. The light looks quite kind to us here because I can actually see outside. It doesn't look like it's blowing at all. So some nice colour out there. There we go. Nice window out on the world. So yes, as I was saying, couldn't find it. It was running absolutely everywhere. You name it. There you go, that's nice. I like that little tiny bit of light just at the top. So let's do our focus stack again. I'm focusing on this brickwork. Get all that beautiful texture in. And then I'm going to focus outside that window. There's not much of a hill, but I can't move left uh, to the right and get more of it because then I'm setting the uh, window off at an angle. So it's impossible for me to do that. So if I move off this way, you can see it's better for those hills, but the angle of the window is completely incorrect. So, 
let's get outside the sun's about to come up we might get some beautiful warm light on the front of this um, old building fabulous yes oh there we go the hills behind on the right look like they may catch some light too so let's move this side no so I have to apologize I've only got one camera and it's just nothing's working as it should so I think if we're going to catch the light on this I think we ought to put it in its setting I'm going to go further back I'm going to isolate it just show that it's in a you know it's a dirty derelict abandoned old paddock that sun's just starting to creep over so it should warm it up which it is it is starting to warm it no that doesn't quite work it doesn't quite work no uh. Sun's gonna go too bright. We tried. We did try. <clears throat> this might work if I edge down a touch. There you go. Uh, maybe not. We will. Got a slight. Oh. Nope, we don't want that tree. Nah. Trying to make three. It's not working. Not working. I don't like that. Don't like that. So. This is going to be the last shot of the day. Trying a couple of little tricks, see if they work for us. See, it pushes the trees up above the uh, that hill on the background. And it looks like while we've been waiting, we've lost that light. But uh, that really <laughs> didn't surprise me. See, that, that works. That does work. Oh, but that light's gone. I can just hope and pray it does come back for a moment. So in anticipation of that, I'm just going to take this. There are some brakes out there. Thank you for joining me here in the middle of nowhere. Um, no idea where this is. I think it's um, near the Wilson Historic uh, Air Heritage Area. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll pop something up somewhere to confirm whether it is or not on the screen. Uh, what a bomb of a morning. Um, but hey. <laughs> In terms of a video, I think it's I think it's a bomb. I don't think it's worked. In terms of me running around like crazy, you know what? I've got my exercise. I got my ten thousand steps in this morning. Um, I was out of breath, panting. I was, yeah, uh, you know, I was making more more noise than most of these sheep running around this paddock, and uh, nowhere near as pretty either. So, listen. Thank you for joining me here today. Ah, whatever you are, please look after yourself, look after your loved ones. And until next time, 
and hopefully a much more uh, entertaining video, shall we say. So until next time, see ya.